Hello, hello, hello. I am Philip, and I'm going to play Undertale. Why am I doing this? No idea. Because I love pixelated games. Maybe that's not true. Maybe because I'm bored and exhausted. No, that's not my name. That's not the name. Backspace. Why? Why is nothing happening? Oh, yeah. Genius. So, this is the amazing and not at all too overrated, if one is to believe the internet, game by the name of Undertale. And I'm currently typing a name in the most annoying, frustrating way possible. Amazing. Amazing graphics, I know. Yes. It's coming ever nearer towards me. Will it explode? Hopefully. Alright. So, we are in. Apparently. Oh, look at me. I'm adorable. What now? Hello. Oh, lovely. I'm moving. Where did the music go? Oh, that's, that's a black door. Dark. Oh, Jesus. Hilda, I'm Flower! Flower the Flower! Hmm. You need to do the Grand Aventure! Surely, you must be so confused. Someone ought to teach you how things work around here. I guess little old me will have to do. Why, thank you. This is so exciting, I'm dying. Freddy, here we go! See that hat? That is your soul! Why did I decide on that voice? The very culmination of your being! Well, that's that's lovely. Your soul starts off weak, but it can grow strong if you gain a lot of level. What's LV? Oh, Jesus. Why love, of course? You want some love, don't you? Don't worry, I'll share some with you. Oh, seriously? Uh, down here, love is... Share true little what? Friendliness by... Oh, God. This is strangely perverted. Are you ready? Move along! Get as many as you can! Oh, God! You idiot! In this world, it's kill or be killed. Why would anyone pass up an opportunity like this? Oh god. Die? Okay. That... That is not... What you're doing is not nice. Oh. Someone is helping me! Whoa! I was saved by a, from a flower, by a what seems like a gigantic cow. What a terrible creature, torturing such a poor innocent youth. Ah, do not be afraid, my child. I am Toriel, caretaker of the ruins. I pass through this place every day to see if anyone has fallen down. You are the first human to come here in a long time. Come! I'll guide you through the catacombs. This way. Exciting. The most exciting thing to ever have happened in my miserable little life. Oh, a star. Whatever will happen if... No, nothing. Alright. Welcome to your new home, innocent one. Allow me to educate you in the operation of the ruins. Amazing. The rooms are full of puzzles, ancient fusions between diversions and doorknobs. <laughs> One must solve them to move from room to room. Please adjust yourself to the sight of them. Well, only the fearless may proceed. Brave ones, foolish ones, both walk not the middle road. Oh. Interesting. Let me guess. This bridge is going to end very badly for me. 
To make progress here, you will need to trigger several switches. Do not worry, I have labeled the ones that you need to flip. Oh, another one of those. Stay on the path. Gee, thanks. This is very interesting. Press Z to read signs. Uh, do I get anything different when I press Z? No? Okay. Ah, thank you. Splendid! I'm proud of you, little one. Let us move to the next room. This witch doesn't even work. Oh. Well, I'm sure it's not going to cause any trouble later. There's a human living in the underground. Monsters may attack you. You'll need to be prepared for this situation. However, worry not. The process is simple. When you encounter a monster, you will enter a fight. Charming, I know. While you are in a fight, strike up a friendly conversation. Stall for time. I'll come to resolve the conflict. Practice talking to the dummy. I must talk with the dummy. Oh god. Fight, act. I can act? What does that do? Uh, talk. Sure. It doesn't seem much for conversation. Well, I figured that much. Turtle seems happy with you. You won! You earned zero XP and zero gold. Ah, very good. You are very good. I am, aren't I? <laughs> there is another puzzle in this room. I wonder if you can solve it. Hmm. Nope. How do I remove this? C? Yeah. It's with C. Nothing happening here. Uh, what? Frog it attacks me. Can I talk it to Frog it? Compliment. Oh. <laughs> Frog it didn't understand what you said, but was flattered anyway. Wow. She stared him down. Amazing. What's this? The western room is the eastern room's blueprint. Yeah, I can see that. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Looks like... Loads of death. This is the puzzle, but... Here. Take my hand for a moment. Impressive, I guess. I love the music. I will be absolutely honest. I'm going to play through the entirety of this game only to listen to this wonderful piano solo. Puzzles seem a little too dangerous for now. You know, when you say stuff like that, I, I don't trust you anymore. Do you realize that? You have done excellently thus far, my child. However, I have a difficult request to ask of you. She's going to eat me, isn't she? I would like you to walk to the end of the room by yourself. Forgive me for this. Oh god. Suddenly tense music. Oh my. She is one of the worst quest givers in the world. Making me walk alone through a room. How will I ever survive? People have died trying to walk from the end of one room to the beginning of another for centuries. No, millennia now. I don't think I'm going to make it. I don't think I'm going to make it. Oh god. Greetings, my child. Do not worry. I did not leave you. I was merely behind this pillar the whole time. Thank you for trusting me. However, there was an important reason for this exercise. To test your independence. I must attend to some business, and you must stay alone for a while. Please remain here. It's dangerous to explore by myself. You know what that means. Time to explore. I have an idea. I'll give you a... Cell phone? What? You have a need for anything just to call. Okay, this is obviously not the fantasy land I was expecting. Be good, alright? 
Yeah, I suspect that I am just... I better move along. Ring. Hello! This is Toriel. You have not left the room, have you? There are a few puzzles ahead that I have yet to explain. It would be dangerous to try to solve them yourself. Be good, alright? Click. It would be so nice if I could talk. Ribbit, ribbit. Excuse me, human. I have some advice for you about battling monsters. If you act a certain way or fight until you almost defeat them, they might not want to battle you anymore. If a monster does not want to fight you, please beat the hell out of it. Use some mercy, human ribbit. While, of course, uh, the frog is missing from the human condition is that we humans do not understand or partake in the act of mercy. <laughs> What's this? Playfully crinkling through the leaves fills you with determination. HP fully restored. Oh, so that's a save button. Cool, cool, cool. Wimsom approached meekly. Let's do something. Let's terrorize. Yeah, he seems like someone who would be horrified and... No, maybe I should console him. Yeah. I've been playing the psychopaths way too much in Dishonored lately, so let's be nice for a change, eh? Halfway through your first word, Wimson bursts into tears and runs away. Well, I do believe I did not do what I was hoping to do. Why are there so many leaves? Fine, I'll go in that direction first. Oh my! What's this now? It says, take one. Take a piece of candy. Sure. You took a piece of candy. Press C to open the menu. Item. Monster candy. Oh, this is going to be lovely. Monster candy heals 10 experience. Has a distinct non-licorice flavor. Cool. So I did not get poisoned by horrible horribleness. Let's uh, pause on saving for now. Uh oh. Oh no! Let us fight. What? I have no choice! What is going on? Wimson continues to mutter apologies. Uh oh. Oh! Jesus! So that's how you do it. Alright. Uh. I feel a disturbance in the force. This looks like a trap. No, 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 no. Remove yourself. Come on. Ugh. I'm going to need. I'm going. This is going to take a while before I get used to it. Whoa. Croak, croak. <coughs> Oh my! How horrifying! Woohoo! Three XP and two gold. Yeah. I knew something like that would happen. Oh right. Oh, of course. Obvious. Yeah. Obvious. Ring. Hello. This is story. For no reason in particular. Which do you prefer? Cinnamon or butterscotch? Uh, butterscotch. Oh, I see. Thank you very much. Ring. Hello. This is Toriel. Kind of ridiculous to keep saying that when you're the only one who has the phone number. You do not dislike cinnamon, do you? I know what your preference is, but... Would you turn up your nose if you found it on your plate? Right, right, I understand. Thank you for being patient, by the way. Yeah, I guess that you might not like the fact that I am not in the room. Is that what's going to turn the cow woman into the final boss? 
I'm calling it now! <laughs> Three out of four grey rocks recommend you push them. <laughs> Thank you for the recommendation. Let's act. Let's threaten the frog. Wow, amazing. Shiver, shiver. Jesus! Why? Frog, it seems reluctant to fight you. Well, mercy? Spare. You won! You earned zero experience and two gold. How lovely. I'm a winner. So they keep telling me. Uh oh. Well, this is most fortunate. Please don't step on the leaves. Why not? Something horrible going to happen? Ah, monsters. Mold, small. Blocking the way. Oh my, I'm going to flirt with it. Sorry, honey. What a meaningful conversation after some extensive wiggling. Why, why, why is this happening? Mold, small, waits pensively. All right. Mm. Stereotypical, curv curvaceously attractive, but no brains. All right. But I, I didn't even do anything. Jeez. Burbles quietly. All right, time to attack. That's because you're a... Oh, it wiggles so very sexily. Whoa, 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 that's, that's nasty. The aroma of lime gelatin wafts true. Should I be merciless and murder the sexy thing? Yes, apparently I shall. Okay, so how do I do this? Bloody hell, I don't believe it. All right, let's try again. So now I'm not falling through here, but I'm falling through this here. Most unfortunate, most unfortunate. Whoops. That that was my love increased. Oh my. Weapon stick, armor bandage, gold twelve. How useful. Alright. I want to pass through this. Ugh, this is getting old now. Am I missing something? Am I just being a big fat idiot? Will I fall through the hole now? Yeah. All right. So I will fall through this hole no matter what. Uh. Let's say that I flee. Yep. Good. I just want to pass this place here because I don't like it and it makes me feel strangely unpleasant. Come on! Don't slow me down like this. Alright. I I am beginning to see. Oh God, I'm an idiot. Of course, obvious, so very obvious. I'm an absolute idiot. Meow. Gee. That really is not necessary. Okay, we've taken yet another frog. How could I miss this? So obviously. All that has to happen is for me to move according to the leaves. Sorry guys, it's far too late in the night for me to think clearly. Uh oh. Ribbit, ribbit. Oh god. Move along with the bloody combat. Excellent. I have shown a surprising lack of mercy. All right, that was absolutely idiotic and 
I'm going to flee because I have so little HP right now. All right. Whoa well, there, partner. Who said you could push me around? Hmm? So you're asking me to move over? Okay, just for you, pumpkin. Hmm? You want me to prove some more? Alrighty, how's this? Oh, God. Hmm? That was the wrong direction. Okay, I think I got it. Well, you're one hell of a stone, Miss. Oh, God. Hmm? You want me to stay there? You're giving me a real workout. I don't think it's easier when you just ask. Please don't move. He did not move. So nice of him. So, so nice of him. Knowing the mouse might one day leave its hole and get the cheese. It fills you with determination. Well, amazing. Good job, me. I managed to save a level and this cheese has been here quite a long time. It's stuck to the table. What a pity. I was feeling in the mood for some cheese. Is this a gravestone or a ghost? I don't trust this. Zzz, zzz. Are they gone yet? This ghost keeps saying z out loud repeatedly, pretending to sleep. Move it with force. Yes. Napster Bluke. Yeah, let's. Let's cheer. No, let's. Yeah. Cheering the ghost is a good idea, I think. Heh. <laughs> Oh, okay. I am seriously falling in love with the music in this game. Let's try and cheer him up further. It all nubs the block a little joke. <laughs> really not feeling up to it right now, sorry. Cheering seems to have improved nubs the block's mood again. Let's see if we can do even better. Napster Block wants to show you something. Let me try. What the? <laughs> I call it Dapper Block. Do you like it? Napster Block eagerly awaits your response. Napster Block. Flirt. Oh no. Oh god. I usually come to the ruins because there's nobody around. But today I met somebody nice. Oh, I'm rumbling again. I'll get out of your way. Thank you. Thank you, creepy ghost person. That was not at all creepy and weird. I had to flirt with a ghost to get him out of the way. What's next, for God's sake? Did you miss it? Spider bake cell down and to the right. Can we eat food made by spiders? Four spiders, of spiders. Okay, how can I resist such a tempting offer? Spider bake sale, all proceeds go to real spiders. Oh god. Uh no. I I I don't want to. No. -uh. No, I'm not leaving you my money. Thank you very much. Thank you. Goodbye. Creepy, creepy, creepy spider people. Ribbit, ribbit. Sigh. My friend never listens to me. Whenever I talk, they skip through my words by pressing X. That's right, pressing X. Well, at least you listen to me. I'm nice like that. Ribbit, ribbit. I heard using F4 can make you have a full screen. But what does F4 stand for? Four frogs? I have only seen a maximum of three frogs in this room. This is troubling, to say the least. Ribbit. And this is weird, I'm talking with frogs. I have heard you are quite merciful for a human. Surely you know by now a monster wears a yellow name when you can spare it. What do you think of that? It's very... helpful. It is rather helpful. Remember, sparing is just saying you won't fight. 
Maybe one day you'll have to do it, even if their name isn't yellow. Ring! Hello! I just realized that it has been a while since I have cleaned up. I was not expecting to have company so soon. There are probably a lot of things lying about here and there. You can pick them up, but do not carry more than you need. Someday you might see something you really like. You'll want to leave room in your pockets for that. Click. The cow woman is amusing and impressive. There is just one switch. Alright, just one switch, eh? I suspect that it's somewhere around... Oh, alright. I see. So, it's right over here. How I survived, I do not know. My gosp crawled up close. Alright. Let's find this one. He seems like a turf opponent. He the swarm. The aroma of lime gelatin was true. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Let us be done with you, you villainous fellow. He the swarm. Oh god. I hate minigames like this one. I hate minigames like this one. Yay. And now I can... No, I didn't need to... You didn't need to do that. I will spare you. Thank you. I I did not press the switch, did I? Ugh. Good job, me. Finally a job done right. Oh, look at those things. Whatever are they? Is the switch press it? Sure. Nothing happened. Why not? Oh, let's look at the instructions. The far door is not an exit. It simply marks the rotation in perspective. Well, that sounds good. Press this switch too. Nothing happened all over again. It's a switch. Press it. Yes. Nothing happened again. So I expect something kooky is going to happen. No? Huh. Oh my. Unpleasant. I'm still pressing switches and nothing is happening. Why? Why does this keep happening? I'm sure I'm missing something. Oh, I see. It's a switch. Press it. Yes! Do I go and press the other blue switch now? Okay, obviously I'm not going to be pressing the green switch anytime soon. Let's press the blue switch here. No? Nothing happened? That's so weird. I fell again. I fell again. Let's see then. Yeah, obviously it's the same room, but just with switched perspectives. Press the blue switch. I did! I already did this. Yes. Wonderful. Can I maybe move along? Not before I'm done. Oh god. This is horrible. Let's make short work of these two. Contains vitamin two, vitamin two, B, A, what? I don't even remember. All right, farm locally, very locally. Oh God, he's throwing vegetables at me. Because with a name like Vegetoid, what can I expect? Oh God. He doesn't have a care in the world, then I will most certainly spare him. No! <laughs> I made some progress and now nothing, nothing, nothing happened. So I suppose I had to press the green one here? 
If you can read this, press the red switch. Okay, the red switch. It's a switch. Press it. Yes, please. Alright. And now I guess it's time to press the green one. Yeah, sure. Alright. I do believe that's that. Woohoo! Progress. Let's see. Uh oh. Oh dear. That took longer than I thought it would. Uh oh. How did you get here, my child? Are you hurt? There, there, I will heal you. I should not have left you alone for so long. She's guarding a black, evil looking tree. It was irresponsible to try to surprise you like that. Well, I suppose I can't hide it any longer. Come, small one. She wants to sacrifice me to the tree, doesn't she? Oh god, she wants to sacrifice me to the tree. Look at the wall. No, seriously, look at it. It's a horrified person thing. Do you smell that? Surprise, it is a butterscotch cinnamon pie. I thought we might celebrate your arrival. I want you to have a nice time living here, so I'll hold off on snail pie for tonight. Here, I have another surprise for you. She's going to murder me. I want to go and remove myself from this equation. She's crazy. She's evil. The fire isn't burning hot, just pleasantly warm. You could put your hand inside. I don't want to do that. It's a history book. Here's a random page. Trapped behind a barrier and fearful of further human attacks, we retreated. Far, far into the earth we walked until we reached the cavern's end. This was our new home, which we named Home. Hardly an original, I'm afraid. As great as our king is, he is pretty lousy at names. Yeah, I could tell. The ends of the tools have been filed down to make them safer. She... This woman, cow, person thing is evil. She probably baked something in the pie. What a nice smell, too hot to eat though. The stove top is very clean. Toriel must use fire magic instead. What a nice smell, yeah, yeah, yeah. There is some white fur stuck in the drain. Yeah, that's not creepy at all. For some reason, there is a brand name, Chop. What? Why? Uh, trying to make sense of this game is like trying to make sense of my own mind. They're both bloody ridiculous. Inside is an old calendar from the beginning of 201X. Alright. This is it. Room of your own. I hope you like it. It's going to get... Really, really horrible. Look at these cool toys. They don't interest you at all. Yeah. Uh-oh. I don't trust any of this. You found a slice of butterscotch cinnamon pie. It's probably filled with horrible poison. A box of kids' shoes in a disparity of sizes. Yeah, that's that's not not creepy at all. Let's go talk with the cow person. Shall we find the shrine to the old gods? Oh, it's Storio's diary. Read the circled pas passage. You read the passage. Why did the skeleton want a friend? Because she was feeling lonely. The rest of the page is filled with jokes of a similar caliber. Okay, it's crash out. She's not evil. She's just insane and lonely. It's an encyclopedia of subterranean plants. You open to the middle. Typha, a group of wetland flowering plants with brown oblong set, pool, set pots. Not more commonly as water sausages. Mm -hmm. Just as delicious as non-water sausages. You pick inside. Scandalous! Historials sock drawer. 
Ah, the cactus. Truly the most tsundere of plants. <laughs> this, this was funny. Definitely bigger than a twin-sized bed. Yeah, the cow woman. I can see how she deduced that. Just a regular old bucket of snails. Oh god, snail soup. Ugh. Horrible, horrible, horrible. Room under renovations. It's me! Oh, it is a water sausage. Don't suppose... Nope. Inside the drawer are flower seeds and some broken crayons. I'm still not feeling right about this. No, 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 no. Something is off about this. Where's mum cow? Or is she a rabbit? She looks like a rabbit right now. No, she's a cow. Up already, I see. Um, I want you to know how glad I am to have someone here. There are so many old books I want to share. I want to read. I want to show you my favorite bug hunting spot. I've also prepared the curriculum for your education. This may come as a surprise to you, but I have always wanted to be a teacher. Actually, perhaps that isn't very surprising. Still, I'm glad to have you living here. What did you want something? What is it? And can I go home? What? This this is your home now. Um, would you like to hear about this book I'm reading? It is called 72 Uses for Snails. How about it? How to exit the ruins? Um, how about an exciting snail fact? Did you know that snails make terrible shoelaces? Oh, God. Interesting. How to exit the ruins. I have to do something. Stay here. She's going to kill me and stuff me. I want to save. What is it about this tree? Every time this old tree grows any leaves, they fall right off. Yeah, because it's being taken care of by a crazy cow woman. You wish to know how to return home, do you not? Ahead of us lies the end of the ruins. A one-way exit to the rest of the underground. I'm going to destroy it. No one will ever be able to leave again. Now be a good child and go upstairs. I told you she was crazy. This is like Stephen King's misery all over again. Every human that falls down here meets the same fate. I have seen it again and again. They come, they leave, they die. You naive child. If you leave the ruins, they, Asgore, will kill you. I'm only protecting you. Do you understand? Go to your room. I'm not going. Do not try to stop me. This is your final warning. I'm not going to the room. You want to leave so badly? Hm. You're just like the others. There is only one solution to this. Prove yourself. Prove to me you're strong enough to survive. Fight! By the crazy cow woman. Talk. You couldn't think of any conversation topics. Oh boy. Oh my, this is horrible. Alright, stab at the cow woman. Oh my, this is unpleasant. And she is very strong actually. Which, let me just say, does not help me in any way. I feel like I'm, I'm, I'm a gunner. Whoa! <gasps> wow! <laughs> this hurts so badly. Oh god. I s managed to survive this one as well. Surprisingly. Whoa, 62 points of damage. Alright, I think she is intentionally trying not to hurt me. I'm not sure, of course. Oh. 
2 HP guys, 2 HP. 61, I'm so close. So close and yet so far away. Let us see then. Should this be the end? I think not. Probably not. Damn, that was weak. Alright. Let us end this. Oh, I actually feel bad. Ugh. You are stronger than I thought. Listen to me, small one. If you go beyond this door, keep walking as far as you can. Eventually, you will reach an exit. This is a lot more dramatic. Asgore, do not let Asgore take your soul. His plan cannot be allowed to succeed. Be good, won't you? My child. Very dramatic. Thank you. Can we move on? Oh god. She fell to pieces. <sighs> I broke her heart. Oh my. I truly am a merciless monster. Which is just, just the way I like it. This was a very friendly door, by the way. Look at her little smile. Oh, it's all so silent all of a sudden. I do believe this is a nice place to meet a buddy. Come on, stop wasting my time, game. Thank you. Oh god. You again. <laughs> I hope you like your choice. After all, it's not as if you can go back and change fate. In this world, it's kill or be killed. That old hag though, she could break the rules. She tried so hard to save you humans. But when it came down to it... <laughs> she couldn't even save herself! What an idiot! Okay. That was not at all too creepy. Amazing. She... Thank you, Toby Fox, for this. I'm now going to have nightmares of flowers sending evil all my life, basically. Oh! I love the ambiance. Ha ah, ah. ha. Yes, I know how pretentious it sounds when one says ambiance instead of ambience. But hey! Oh, it's getting creepier now. Lovely! No, keep walking. She said keep walking. I think I'm going to stick to that. Uh-oh. Hello. Who might you be, shadow person? Human. Don't you know how to greet a new pal? Turn around and... Shake my hand. Oh god. Oh lol. <laughs> hey! The old whoopee cushion in the hand trick. It's always funny. Anyways, you're a human, right? That's hilarious. I'm Sans. Sans the skeleton. I'm actually supposed to be on watch for humans right now, <laughs> but you know. I don't really care about capturing anybody. Now my brother, Papyrus, he's a human hunting fanatic. Hey, actually I think that's him over there. I have an idea. <laughs> go through this gate thingy. Yeah, go right through. My bro made the bars too wide to stop anyone. Quick! Behind that conveniently shaped lamp! <laughs> oh god. <laughs> so, bro! 
You know what's up, brother? It's been eight days and you still haven't recalibrated your puzzles. You just hang around outside your station. What are you even doing? Staring in this lamp is totally cool. Do you want to look? No! I don't have time for that. What if a human comes through here? I want to be ready. I will be the one. I must be the one. I will capture a human. Then I, the great Papyrus, will get all the things I utterly deserve. Respect. Recognition. I will finally be able to join the Royal Guard. He has a nice game, by the way. People will ask to be my... friend? I will bath in a shower of kisses every morning. <laughs> Maybe this lamp will help you. Sons! You're not helping, you lazy bones! All you do is sit and... Boon... Boon... Dougal! You get lazier and then lazier every day. <laughs> Take it easy. I've got a ton of work to do. Today. Done. Today. Sorry. A skeleton. Ha <laughs> ha! Sons! Come on! Come on. You're smarter. I am and I hate it! Sorry. Why does someone as great as me have to do so much just to get some recognition? Whoa, sounds like you're really working yourself. Down to the bone. <laughs> oh, I will attend to my puzzles. That's for your work. Put a little more backbone into it. <laughs> okay, you can come out now. What the... You ought to get going, he might come back, and if he does... You'll have to sit through more of my hilarious jokes. What's the holder? Look, there's nothing to be afraid of. It's just a dark cavern filled with skeletons and horrible monsters. Oh. Some sort of checkpoint or sentry station. But there are bottles of ketchup, mustard and relish sitting inside. So, I cannot save the game here? Alright, maybe at the lamp? Probably not. Yeah, fair enough. Let's move on. Actually, hey, hate to bother you, but can you do me a favor? I was thinking, my brother's been kind of down lately. He's never seen a human before, and seeing you might just make his day. Don't worry, he's not dangerous, even if he tries to be. Thanks a million. I'll be up ahead. Oh. Well, I think this was a rather... The convenience of that lump still fills you with determination. Wow, I'm level 5 already. Amazing. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I might play more of this. I'm not sure if I will make it a regular daily thing. But hey, it, I did have a lot of fun. Especially now that the game actually started being funny. And... Uh, it actually doesn't. Oh, doesn't have that creepy vibe of a giant cow woman and misery and all that and all that. Blah blah blah. Thank you for watching. I severely enjoyed this, and if you did too, well, I can only hope that you will subscribe. Bye.